All right, well, some of you have asked, how do I upgrade my Amazon OS on the uh, Fire TVs that have the bootloaders already installed? It's actually not too tough. You're going to need two things. You're going to need a micro SD card and a USB keyboard. Um, I use the uh, Logitech K400, the one that goes on sale every once in a while on uh, Amazon. It's got a mouse keyboard Bluetooth thing blue, um, built in little dongle that plugs in the back of the USB port on the Fire TV and a uh, just a standard SD card. Uh, all you're going to need in addition to that is the file. Uh, you'll see the file uh, noted in the links on the, the show here where to get out of it. But uh, the latest root it wrong uh, will be linked in the show notes. But really quick, um, just install your SD card into your device. Go ahead and put your dongle in or plug the USB keyboard into the USB port on the uh, Fire TV and go ahead and pull the uh, power screen coming up and you'll see team win for uh, the torque recovery project and then go ahead and press the right arrow key on your keyboard to launch recovery real easy screen comes up you're going to go over to install and you're going to hit select storage and then you're going to hit the micro sd card and then hit OK. The latest and greatest currently is the Sloan 5240 rooted image. So go ahead and click that. That should be the file you loaded on the micro SD card. And then hit swipe to confirm flash. Now, if you do not have TWRP, that means your box is not rooted. Uh, there was a time between August, August, no, October into November where the boxes were shipping with 5211, which wasn't rootable for about three months. So those boxes do not have a uh, torque bootloader on them. And, will have updated themselves so automatically to the latest and greatest for Amazon. Please do not touch anything else on the menu structure. Um, you can seriously fuck up your box going in here. Um, it's easier if uh, just load the pre-rooted image and hit reboot. Don't play with the wipe, don't play with the modifications or anything. I can't help you if you uh, screwed up anything inside the bootloader. Generally, the, as Amazon releases new OS versions, it, it lags a week or two. After that, there'll be a rooted version of a pre-rooted ROM released for it. So it's pretty easy. Um, this allows you to maintain root throughout. So there's special things I do with root to maintain the box and for coding and to give higher priority for install. Basically, with root, you control it. They can't do anything to the box to block anything. And what's nice, if you do screw something up and play around with the box nine times out of ten, I could just flash over a, a, a new system image and fix it. All right, so it's done. Let's go ahead and hit reboot. Normally, this process takes about um, five to ten minutes. It'll go through, optimize anything. This box I'm doing was already on uh, 5240. Five, so it shouldn't have any major optimizations to do. Uh, this build will come up, should come up with like a continue prompt telling you some information about 5240 and Amazon, what they're doing. If you've got a Prime account, definitely worth uh, upgrading a little bit. The, the interface is nice. Some of the search functions are nice. I'm not too keen on their app launcher now. I still like Fire, Fire uh, Starter on it, but... Uh, there we go. So here's the new Amazon interface. As you can see, I've got, we've got our own compiled code now. 
and the Shrek box. But let's go back, hit the home button, I'll show you what the new uh, interface looks like for these guys. So all your apps, and High Castle, Prime channels, everything. Um, I'm not on a 4K box or my my Prime account right now, so you, you can't see all the 4K content. But there's most of their shows are in 4K now. But that's basically what it looks like. Your apps, you can launch right over to Firestarter from there. Uh, here's all the, the base load apps and of course Shrekbox. Alright.